did, we wanted to have something more representative of uh, the spirit of Jumbo. So when we were asked to do this, you can imagine three of us were asked to, to come up with an idea, and we each had a different idea. Mine was to have something that people can view from different sides, and even from below, and I sort of had this idea of an arch. Robin came up with some, she wanted to have an interna interactive component to it, where pe people around can actually do things, add stuff to it. And Annabella wanted to have something that incorporated something natural or living. So we decided the arch was, was a go, that we would stay with that. And then trying to incorporate the other two things was a little more difficult. So with a lot of perseverance, we came up with these um, vinyl pieces that came from the cardboard as well, that, uh, that looked like the shape of leaves. So the interactive part of it became where people here, you get to write on the leaves, and we're hoping that you write something inspiring, something about community, something meaningful to yourself. You can write a poem, a love note, um, whatever you want. You can draw a little sketch, write on both sides. Um, but this is really for you to enjoy and be a part of. And then Annabella's part of something living is that when we hang them up, it's gonna actually look as something is growing, and eventually the whole sculpture will be covered with everybody's thoughts and ideas and these leaves. And hopefully it'll blow in the breeze and they'll luckily stay up there and won't come down. Um, so in closing, uh, like I said, just over the next month, we hope to see it grow in the spirit of Junebug, um, which is a community coming together, enjoying and experiencing art and each other.